are. <laughs> this is the first haunt we are going to try to go to because we didn't get to this one last year. It's what Erie Estates, what it's called, right? Yes. Um, yeah, this is the line for it. So, yeah, consider getting a fast pass when you come here. We don't plan on doing all the haunts tonight, but we do plan on going to all the scare zones. Mine is blood in the bayou because it's not open tonight. You can see the point. Um, yeah, I don't know about this though. Dear God. Not sure what's going on. There's all the hackers from the house out and standing here. <laughs> so we're gonna try and head back to the corn stalkers thing now because the reason all the haunt actors are out is because the fog made the smoke detector do some stuff and all the lights came on. So we waited 45 minutes in that line for nothing. Um, so now we're gonna make our way through this gigantic sea of people and uh, try and see if we can get into that pond or not. Who knows? Cedar Point. Me and Kim got some yummies, uh, caramel apple cider. It's alcoholic. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like caramel apples. It tastes a lot like caramel apples, actually. I didn't know if it would actually taste like caramel apples. Sometimes they say that kind of thing and then they just don't. But it actually does. It kind of tastes like one of those caramel apple suckers. It's very sweet. It's funny if you... If you look up there, it's all the pirates from Cutthroat Cove. It's hard to see on the camera, but they're up there carrying flags. Going back to their scare zone because those will be opening soon. And we will be going through them. And over there is the VIP lounge. You can do that for $50 and it also gives you a fast pass. Like, well, one-time use fast pass. Think if you actually do the one for the haunt. I think it's two one-time use fast passes, I think. Although, Cedar Point's information is all mismatched, so God, who knows what it really is, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. So this is what we were talking about earlier in the day. Now it's uncovered. It's actually, um, you can go in there and get your photo taken in this coffin in front of the hearse. So that's why that was covered up, as it's for this. Now it is 20 minutes till they open, but so we are going back for the corn stalkers. Pretty much most of the areas in the back of the park are all scare zones. There's like a giant group of scare actors just following us in there into the scare zone. Oh god. Oh, go into their haunts and scare zones. timing to get to kind of see them all walk into the thing. It's kind of cool. Oh, they're from Corn Stalkers. Yeah. I don't know if all of them are, but that second half definitely was Corn Stalkers. Yeah. yeah. I think that's about all of them now. All right, now time to go see what's it like for the line for Corn Stalkers. He's chilling. He's his leg for hurting. Oh, yeah. It's real nice and long. Look at the fog rolling. Finally, almost getting to go into Corn Stalkers. See all the fog. Oh, that's the entrance. Yay! The exit. That's a cannon that's gonna scare us later. <laughs> well, me and Kim just finished Corn Stalkers. It was pretty good. It was basically a long conga line, and now the line's going all the way out up until like over the bridge in Frontier Town. So now we're just gonna walk through Harvest Pier and I'm going to try and not drop my phone and things scare me. <laughs> I like to have one. I'm just going to kind of hold it like this.
right? Guy had a baseball bat. <laughs> it's hard to see with the absolute disgusting mess of people. Like, what's a scare actor and what's not? They're a scare actor. See, Fresh I really think they should have these games open. That would be fun. They should have, like, they should actually make use of this area on the day and, like, make a game. But they don't. It's just for spooky stuff at night. There's some guy up there doing spooky stuff in a gazebo. They've had this one for a few years now. Now we're going to take a quick little jot through, uh, this is what, Tombstone ter Territory is what this one's called. He said pretty much all of the scare zones are in the back of the park. There they go. Uh, they said there's just so many people, it's hard to actually get scared by them. But this is all like creepy western themes like the area. The Cutthroat Cove is another one that's considered a scare zone, but is more of a haunted walkthrough. <laughs> Those people always freak me out, like how close they can get you and not hit you. It's really freaky. Did you feel a captured? <laughs> this music is not creepy music. I wish all the haunts were. You just walk in and there's just there's just long scare zones you walk through, basically. I love them. Dubai is usually just as good, but of course it's not open tonight. Uh, 
That's basically all the scare zones, isn't it? I think well, we need to walk through the one in Frontier Town again. We need to walk oh, through that one. Yeah. The lines for the haunts are so long. I don't know if we're really going to do many more of those. We want to try, but Slaughterhouse is two hours long. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's all Cornstalker's line, so get to that one early. didn't understand that Cedar Point is insanely busy. This is the line for the train. Finally got to do Lake Erie Estate. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had to come back because yeah, the first time there's malfunctions like we said, we got to do it. It was pretty good. Had to wait like an eternity for it, but yeah. I feel like it was pretty good. Uh, they got us quite a few times actually, and I feel like it was fairly detailed as well. Uh, but I think now we're probably going to try and see how bad Hex looks. The app says it's only like 20 minutes, but we'll see. And that'll probably be the last one we do of the night, just because it's already like 10:30, and I'm tired of standing and waiting in lines. Everything looks all nice and lit though now. It's amazing how much spookier everything looks than it does in the day. Just with some lights, you know? <laughs> so what did Kim think of Hexed? It was good. It was pretty good, yeah. There's some jabroni that was in our group that was annoying, but, but besides <laughs> that, it was, it was pretty good, yeah. Um, yeah, there's quite a few actors. It's all like a black light haunt. I wish you were allowed to film inside of those. Um, I like the other one better. But yeah, that's the last one we're doing tonight. We'll be returning um, at some point because we still have four tastings <laughs> to do. Uh, yeah, if you plan on coming on a weekend, I would highly recommend thinking about the Fast Pass if you don't have season passes and just can't keep coming back because you're not going to be able to get everything done. Um, yeah, I mean... <sighs> yeah, it takes a while, but... Fun to come with a party atmosphere. Just know at Cedar Point, so a lot of things can be janky. You have to wait a lot of lines and stand still a lot, so and walk a lot. The Cedar Point's giant. Overall, a fun thing.